Jacaranda Insights for Monday the 29th of April 2024 and we've got five of wands, purposes and missions. Quite often this can depict either what's going on inside of you to do with your purposes. So there's five main things, one's really grounded and basic and mathematical almost technical. The other one might be to do with the white and blue spots which is the spiritual one speaking your spiritual truth so perhaps being a teacher of yoga or somebody like that then here we have the yellow the solar plexus your personal power maybe you want to uh, get in touch with your own personal power and for now and not worry about doing anything for anyone else so you're sort of focusing on yourself so it's like a struggle going on but it's not swords which is good it's swords are cutting so these ones are more about they're just hitting off each other it's a bit like a cricket game in the backyard you're sort of half playing and but you're not like you know playing for uh, some big prize or you're not like a professional cricketer but you're just hitting and having fun this can be probably not so much fun as confusing because you've got all these different aspects of yourself vying against each other so this next card is the queen of swords uh, in reverse upright this is you being completely in control of your thoughts or more about getting in contact and getting the messages from higher above there you've had some big storms in the past but since you've been listening to your angels and evolving like these butterflies that this lovely queen has everywhere around her throne carved into her throne the thing is when i see a sword in reverse like this i just think that we need to write our thoughts down it's virtually bringing those uh, information ideas downloads dreams dream diary next to your bed if you write those uh, ideas down and even if you're in the middle of a massage, like if I'm doing a massage, I'll just say to somebody, look, I'm just going to remember something. I'm going to write one word and that'll remind me when you're gone. And I really will write one word and that will remind me of what that particular purpose or mission or perhaps career path, it can be major. And if we're not writing it down, we're missing that, that perfect moment when the guidance is there from above. And I mean, otherwise we'd be all sitting under a tree taking notes all day. So you've still got to work, but you've got to integrate and know when the signals are there and take your own initiative to jot them down, look at them later. You can, otherwise we could be just letting all these amazing inventions go because it is, it's time for the death of the old and the beginning of the new. The old patterns like royalty and religion, the family could get missed out here with this fellow coming through. He's on a mission. He's heading towards that bright light there between those pillars. He's, and I think all of us, uh, or a lot of us, have had that bit of a, it's like I am relaxed now in myself and I'm calm and this is when I know when the messages do come when I get busy and distracted, I miss them. So it's sort of like preparing us for the age of Aquarius coming in November. And the age of Aquarius is about finding your true talents, the treasures within your, you know, your inventions, your creative ideas, your new pathways, your new way of slowing down and not being on that hamster wheel, all of the above. So to me, yep, You've probably got those things bashing around inside your head and the different purposes that you wish that you could do. Or just pick one or two maybe. But at least you can then focus on that one for a while and really get it ticked off. Because then I think we need to write those things down because we're going to miss uh, really pivotal information if we don't. Because we are wanting to change things in a big way and move towards this beautiful dawning of a new day so the death is 13 14 and then another five is 19 one and nine is 10 and 10 just rolls back to you being in charge you're the pioneer you're the buck stops with you basically so if you want to make some changes start writing things down and let the other side of your higher intelligence that intuition 
have a chance of maybe taking over your pen and all of a sudden you've got some things in front of you that you've never had before and thought, I have been really considering doing something, this may be it. Have a lovely day everyone.